because I never want to come to this place. So the miracle of the test. The test of the miracle of the test. Thank you, Mike. Where is the timer? When I was in high school, my biology teacher used to say, I don't care if you miss the class, but when you do, do it together. At that time, it was beautiful to hear this from a teacher. First of all, she allowed us to miss the class, which was very unusual and even wrong to hear from a teacher. Don't you think? Yes. Secondly, she expected us to act as one. So, for me, it was a bit controversial because what if I don't want to miss the class? What if I want to get the education to go to the school? So, nevertheless, today I'd like to share yet another story where that displays the need for cooperative work, especially when you break the rules. I heard this story from my college friend. So one night, four college friends, let's call them Ellie, Bill, David, and Christy, they were fighting late at night and didn't study for the calculus test. Calculus is uh, mathematics. So early in the morning, Christy started to panic. Oh gosh, I don't want to get into trouble with my mom again. I promise her to study well and to pass this exam, or I won't go to, to Miami this spring break. Her friends felt for her, and also they didn't want to get into trouble with their parents as well, and they didn't want to fail the test. So Bill, the most creative of this group, has come up with a plan. He said, hey guys, let's make up a truthful story and tell Adin we had an emergency. So the guys, his friends, agreed with the plan and they approached the Dean. They put themselves in dirt, they made themselves dirty with dirt and grease and uh, they also decided that Ellie looked the mo was the most, um, had the friendliest voice and friendliest face so she would be the one uh, who would tell the story. So she, she said, Dear Dean McCarthy, we're very sorry, but last night we had an emergency. We went to the wedding party, but on the way back, we had uh, the tire of the car burst. So we had to push the car all the way back to the college. As you can see, we are in no condition to take the test today. Can we, please, please, can we reschedule this test? So then Dean looked at them, he thought for a minute, and then said, all right, you can retake the test. They were so happy to hear this news, and uh, they thanked him and started to prepare for the test. In three days, they... Uh, they approached the dean again, and that's what he told them. Dear students, today you have a special condition test. You will be required to sit in separate classrooms. The students were already happy to be able to retake the test, so they didn't mind. And in these last three days, they prepared very well to the test. So they said yes. After they uh, were seated in different classrooms, they were given this uh, test and they were surprised to see that this test had only two questions that were wor worth 100 points. The first question was worth of one point. It was, what is your name? <laughs> the second question was worth 99 points and it was, which tire first? <laughs> front left, front, front right, back left, and back right. Of course, they didn't know the answer to this question. 
they've been struggling for an hour and they've been thinking what another person would answer to this question. Of course, and of course, they failed the test, unfortunately for them. And the saddest thing is that Christy didn't go to Miami that spring break. Well, the, there are many lessons that can be derived from this story, but the main theme in this story is that take responsibility in your action or you will learn your lesson. Thank you. Thank you.